Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Lynch Paints, where I, Lynch, will be showing you all how to paint Han Solo for Star Wars Legion. So ignore that thought in the back of your mind that tells you you have a bad feeling about this, and grab your paints and your brushes, and we're heading back into the galaxy far, far away. So then, our first step is to, of course, prime our model in a black acrylic spray. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and grab a medium-sized brush, and we're gonna have ourselves a mixture of Abaddon Black and some more Fang Brown. I'm gonna start out with all this leather. So we're going to take a bit of each, make a nice dark brown, water down our paints just to thin them down for better control. And then what we're going to do is we're going to practice a bit of wet blending with this as well because it's quite a large surface area that we're going to be working on. So, just going to start out just applying the darker brown on. Now, before the paint has a chance to dry, we're going to just introduce a little bit of the Morden Fang Brown and we're going to blend it nicely onto the raised areas of his jacket. So, I thought just to add in a little bit of texture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the Mornfang Brown, water it down, and I'm going to use the edge of towards the tip of the brush, and rather than using brush strokes, I'm just going to apply little stippling actions. And this will create sort of something like, um, almost like a dotted line very rough dotted line and that just creates just a bit of texture like it's had a bit of wear and tear to it and this we can gradually build up as well you don't have to use the same brush as before you just pick a suitable size brush that you're most comfortable with for this um, I'm just using a bigger brush just over the top areas wow thanks for not focusing there man um, because I'll be going back over those with a finer brush. And then that's when I'll be using a, uh, a lighter color. So for the final bit, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this Talon sand and using a very fine brush, I'm just going to pick out the top raised areas of his jacket using the same motion as before just to keep that texture going and with this paint as well you can add in some scratches some light marks here and there which I will do in a moment and just remember to keep your paint nice and thinned just with a bit of water would do the job. So I carried on with the same methods earlier just to complete the trousers. Added in a little bit of, sort of battle damage here and there. Also on the top of the heads. I highlighted the very crown with a bit of white, but I'm gonna go back over with a black wash later on. But for now, we're gonna hop over to his boots and his black waistcoat. 
So we're going to want our black and a mid-tone brown. For this I'm using Storm Vermin Fur. And then we'll water down our paint. And we're just going to, again, just apply a little bit just on the edge there. And then working up the boot, we're going to want to pick uh, an angle where the light is going to come down. So I'm going to pick this side here. A little bit down onto there as well. And then we're just going to want to brush it away. And that will help to just blend it in as we build our colours up. So we're going to want to grab some lovely Iron Warriors or any dark metallic colour that you have at your disposal. And then with a nice soft medium brush, it's going to take a little bit of this and a little bit of that for focusing. And then we're going to, I'm going to dry brush it on. That's where you take a, a little bit of your paint onto your brush, work the majority of it off onto a spare bit of tissue. And then we're just going to lightly apply the paints onto the model. So we're going to move on to a shirt now and we're going to be using some Corax white paint. So here we are with our Corax white and a medium brush. And we're just going to pick out the raised areas as like a highlight. To it. But we're going to leave it to dry for now. And in the meantime, I'm going to look at their skin colour. So I have some Kislev flesh, whatever that it means. And we're going to get some of this purple. I'm going to mix the two together to form a nice dark skin colour sort of base just to work from. And then we're going to want uh, just to start out with a little bit of purple. Probably talking maybe a 50-50 mix. Which I tell a lie, it's not a little purple, that's a lot of purple. That's at least half of the amount that we're putting in for the flesh. So, I digress. Switching to a tiny brush. Cool. I'm going to just introduce a little bit of white scar. So, now that that's dried, I'm about to do arguably the most difficult part, which is doing the eyes. So, do bear with me. There'll be some background music for you to enjoy over the top. Um, I might speed it up as well, just to save you guys a bit of torture. Right, now the eyes are done. Uh, that was far too messy and complicated. So the, the eyes themselves, they're not really sculpted onto the face. They're, they're just two little pits. Um, <laughs> and they have uh, sculpted what I can make out on one side, the under eyelid, the lower eyelid. That's the one, not an under eyelid. Um, on the other side, didn't. So I just had to kind of bob it in as carefully as I could, but then I was getting paint on the underside of the eye. Uh, there's like a ridge in the middle of 
really goofy, so I had to go back in and just tidy it up. But um, it's I've got it to the, the level that I'd, I'd want it to be. Um, now, I've been looking at some reference pictures. There's a, he's got like a bit down the side, like a pinstripe um, down his trousers that's yellow. So I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to make sure that our yellow is nice and thin. And then we're going to take our tiny brush and make just a, a load of little lines So all I've done for now is that I've just glued on two big old lumps of cork, just to act as rocks, and then we're going to get our storm vermin fur. It's not fully dry. Oopsie. Well, a bit of an oopsie poopsie moment indeed. Uh, they're dry now, so I'm just going to paint them up in this grey. And once it's dried, I will give it a little dry brush over the top. Nothing too much because, of course, the majority of it is going to be covered in snow anyway. Um, so there's not much point in putting loads of detail on, on the base at this time, unless you're going for um, a different style, different theme of base. I do have a couple of uh, basing videos on my channel if you want to go check them out. Um, links should be in the description if not just have a little look i've got a playlist of a couple of base types on my channel already so that's pretty much done i'm just going to dry brush some of this around Okie dokie then, time to make it snow. So we're going to need our, bam, that'll have them blizzard. And we're also going to need our bitch brush, which is somewhere. There he is, bam. So we're going to take a good clump of this, like so. We're just going to store most of it in the little hood there and then we're going to want some nice generous blobs and scatter it all around as much or as little as you like depending on how snowy your world is feeling right about now mine's feeling quite snowy so let's stick it all in there all around doesn't matter if it gets up onto the boots, the cloak, etc. Um, it just adds to the aesthetic, the environment. You know, you're going to want to just flick a little bit just on the underside there. Um, and this is why I said that it doesn't matter too much. You don't have to be too pressured about the base because we're just going to cover up the majority of the snow anyway. So the last step is just to give the rim of the base a little clean up and then he's good for the tabletop. And so there you have it, this is how I went about painting Han Solo for Star Wars Legion. I do have my eyes set upon a alternative sculpt of Han where he is dressed up in more of a Hoth style and if you've been paying attention to my channel you know that I've been going for a Hoth theme. So once I've got that model in, I'm going to paint him up and probably do a video with him and compare it side by side to this official model here. This has been really, really fun to paint. It's been very different and I'm really happy with how he's turned out. So I really hope that you have all learned something new at home as well. If you wanted to show your appreciation with a like and subscribe, that would be amazing. If you wanted to pick up this model for yourself, then please head out to Wayland Games. I have an affiliate link with them down in the description below. There will be some stills of this model over at my Instagram page at Lynch Paints. And if you wanted to support me further, 
there will be a link in the description below for my coffee page so without further ado say stay safe stay beautiful and we'll see you next time